Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are jumping in to the backpacked mod. It's a relatively new mod that is pretty cool. It's like a small vanilla add-on that adds backpacks into your survival world. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, yeah, let's get into the video. Ah, alrighty, here we go. So Dipper has kindly created this campsite for us to go ahead and look at the backpack mod. So let's start off with the backpack. So you craft it using some rabbit hide, iron, and string. Now I do want to mention, I love this crafting recipe. I think it's a really important fact to kind of look at these mods and look at their crafting recipes because from the crafting recipe, you can kind of see how well it would fit into your survival world or into your playthrough of Minecraft. So this already I can see is really nicely balanced. And also it makes use of rabbit hide which doesn't really have many uses in vanilla Minecraft. So let's go ahead and equip this. Now, uh, I will mention that you can run this mod with Trinket, which is another mod. Um, and also you can run it with Configured, I'm pretty sure the mod name is. And basically it's just a configuration mod, which allows you to open up the config menu on the mod. But we'll get into that in just a moment here. Let's go ahead and put on our backpack. Now, um, if you're in vanilla Minecraft, you just want to right click this uh, backpack while it's in your hand and it will go on your back. But if you have the trinket mod, you can just slap it onto your extra slot on your chest plate. So if we quickly go into F5 mode, you can see we have an absolutely want. Is that a why the frick is there a panda here? Hello? What? I did not summon that in, man. I, I promise you, I did not. Bro, what? This is my... Okay, that's my bed because I set a spawn point here. But there's freaking panda... What? That guy has a snotty nose as well. That's cool. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, back to the mod review. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the backpack looks really cool. It's a nice 3D model. And how you access the contents of your backpack is you click B and boom, it opens up a nine slot inventory. Now, I know this isn't great. This isn't great storage. But as I told you before, if you have a configuration mod, you can actually click this spanner and then it opens up a whole world of configuration. So you can increase the size of your backpack. If you're a server host and you're running this Minecraft uh, mod on a server, you can actually restrict items that are put into this backpack. So a whole lot of customizability. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I, for the life of me, couldn't get the configuration to work, but that's because I'm running on a older version of Minecraft because I like to have shaders when I do these mod reviews. So when you're using the up-to-date latest version, I'm sure the configuration will work for you guys. But anyway, uh, also in this kind of menu, there's a nice little paint palette called Customize. If you click on it, this is where the juice, you know, the real guts of the mod is. And it's in the customization factor of your backpack. So I actually went ahead and already added a bamboo basket. So you unlock each of the backpacks by doing specific tasks. And actually, no, I know why there's pandas here now, because I had to spawn them in to um, feed them bamboo in order to unlock the bamboo basket. There we go. Yeah, that's why I was so confused because I uh, I set this mod pack up uh, or this mod up to review ages ago and I totally forgot that I used pandas. Um, but yeah, cool. Anyway, um, there you go. So you just click it, you click save and boom, you have a really nice looking uh, backpack. I mean, look at that. It looks so cool. Um, and also, uh, if we go ahead and go to customize again, you can see that I actually started work on unlocking the trash can one, which uh, needs you to recycle items a hundred times. So all of the backpacks are kind of grindy to get, which is why I'm only showing off the bamboo one right now, because it's the easiest one to get, in my opinion, in creative mode. Um, but yeah, the, these are all really cool and they're really nice, you know, customizations to what would be your boring old backpack. Um, so also just as a little mention here, you can tick this box if you want to show the backpack on when you have an elytra, because otherwise your elytra will just cover up your backpack. And also when you enchant your backpack, you can choose to show the glint 
or not. Um, so yeah, we're actually going to choose to show the glint because it will segue nicely into the next section of the uh, of the mod, which is enchants. So this mod adds in five new enchants, which you can uh, add onto your backpack. And I'm just going to quickly run through what each of the enchantments do. So funneling um, basically allows you to auto pick up drops, um, you know, when you're and breaking blocks and it automatically gets sucked into your backpack so it's really nice only works for blocks uh keep that in mind but it's it's very very good um now you can also get looted which works the same as the block one but instead of sucking up blocks it sucks up loot and drops and items so again really really good if you just want to run around without a worry in the world of your inventory getting full of, of like crap you can you know put these two on and they'll automatically go in your backpack instead um, I actually got looted in here twice, which is kind of interesting. So that means I'm missing one. Um, so we got imbued hide, which uh, protects your backpack from fire and lava. So essentially it's a netherite upgrade for your backpack. Again, very, very useful. I would say get this one first because yeah, you want to protect your backpack at all costs, especially if you have netherite armor because everything else is going to be fine if you fall in lava but your backpack won't and that's where you're storing your items so definitely get imbued hide and then we got marksman which actually works as a quiver so what a quiver is in case you don't know is it, it's a back attachment in the olden days where they used to put arrows in it and so you would kind of like pick the arrows from your back and then just shoot them and essentially this is what this makes your backpack into so you just put arrows in your backpack not worry about them clogging up your inventory and you can just shoot them from your backpack so very very nice now we are missing one enchantment which is the repairman which is also a really really cool enchant so essentially what it does is whenever you have um items in your inventory so armor and tools which have the enchantment of mending on them it will actually repair those items in your backpack so you don't always have to either be fighting with them in your actual hands but you can just kill enemies you know xp grind and all of that xp will go into your backpack to repair your mending items in there so yeah essentially that's it isn't it dipper it's a, it's a really nice brief mod and I, I just thought you know what this mod's really cool i need to review this so yeah if you did like this video um please do leave a comment and subscribe and tell me you know what else you want to see what other mods do you want me to review um because you know i absolutely love doing these videos but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye